Hello and welcome to The Art of Love. My name is Lucia, I'm your host and a dating expert. And I've dated in six cities, four countries and two continents. So I have a lot of experience to share with you. And to help me do that today is of course my lovely co-host, <laughs> Miss Lilla. Hello Lucia, hello everyone. I've come to the conclusion that actually cheating or being cheated on is a great thing. I think it's good for a guy to call the day after you guys have sex. Because you always hear people asking, well, you know, I cheated, but I'm never gonna do it again. Should I tell my partner? No. Shut up. <laughs> you're not getting a massage show. Oh, I thought you were telling me to shut up. <laughs> no, you, I'm you paranoid can't. right now. You're my, <laughs> you're my co host. You can't shut up. <laughs> boys or boys, men or men, and when you talk about sex, you got them. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So, in the words of the famous Clash song, should I stay or should I go? <laughs> I just want to say that I'm not a cheat. Okay. Uh, you and Bill Clinton. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I did, did not have not sex have with that woman. What was her name? We have Celebrity Corner. And uh, the reason I call that Celebrity Corner is because sometimes celebrities paint themselves into a corner. And sometimes they've been naughty and they need to stand in a corner. OK, what is your take on men who refuse to go to stores that are targeted for women, such as Victoria's Secret Wet Seal? Is it because they're macho? No, they're not macho. They're men. The very quality that makes one a player is also that which makes him vulnerable to being played. You know, it's very easy to keep a woman happy. I'll give you the secret. Just keep your word. He climbed the tree outside my balcony and jumped on my balcony and walked into my living room. <laughs> it's called trespassing, by the way. <laughs> if you start not being wh where you say you're going to be, not calling when you say you're going to call, not showing up, then there's no trust and there's problems. Then women start wondering what's going on. They start being a pain in the neck. They start neighing. Then they didn't want to have sex with you, and before you know it, someone's cheating. Can someone really be in that much denial? Mm -hmm. Apparently, the answer is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said after three months that he loves her. Nah, three months? I think you should know. I should. I think you should know within the first couple N months if he loves someone. No, somebody. no, you're being immature and insincere oh, if Lord you're telling excuse someone me. that you love <laughs> them after three months because you don't. That's not love. That's attachment and obsession, but it's not love. <laughs> So guys have to be funny, women have to be hot. I'd like to remind you, of course, I still have my column in Campus Circle, Ooh. and look. Mr. Smith. Brad Pitt. <laughs> ah! Don't we look cute together? <laughs> <laughs> yes. So this comes out every week, and it's in 800 retail locations. All right. So you should be able to find it. And I'd like to remind you that love empowers, inspires, uplifts, and enlightens. And we'll see you next time on The Art of Love. Bye. <laughs>